we are going to find the elongation in a conical bar due to its self weight so let me show you the conical bar here so we have a fixed support here and a conical bar is hanging with a fixed support something like this okay so this conical bar is hanging with the fixed support here right so d is the diameter of the conical bar l is the length of the conical bar now you will realize that whenever you leave this bar freely hanging vertically due to its own weight there will be some deformation in the bar i'm not showing the deformation portion right now but i'm going to take a small element of the bar and this small element is having length let's say dx so this small element of the conical bar supports the x length of the bar from this tip you can see here so definitely the small length of the bar can be assumed as weightless it is having negligible weight so this weight which is the weight of the conical member having length x let me call it as wx is going to act on the small portion of the bar having length dx so i can apply the conventional expression for the elongation of the small length so now one thing is missing that area of cross section we don't know the area of cross section at this particular end so we need to find out the area of cross section okay so, so let dx be the length of small portion of conical bar at distance x from the tip as you can see in the figure now i want to find the area at this particular point so let d suffix x be the diameter of the bar and the corresponding area of cross section is a suffix x okay so the variation of diameter is proportional to length from geometry you can write down that there is a proportional variation as you go from tip to base of the conical bar diameter is proportional to length we can write down d suffix x over the diameter at base d is same as x by l the linear proportion this will give you dx as x times d by l that's a very simple correlation we can say that the diameter is proportional to the length okay so let me call this as equation number one okay now we can find out wx so what is wx wx is weight of the bar having length x now weight of portion of length x is nothing but therefore wx that is weight of the bar having length x is nothing but weight density let me call weight density as small w times volume volume of bar having length x this will be simplified as w and this portion is conical so volume of a cone having height x and diameter dx it is given by if you take a cone having diameter dx and height x so its volume is given by pi by 12 into diameter square d suffix x square times height height is got x okay okay so we got here the weight weight of conical bar having length x now i can take this small element dx and i can assume that it is having uniform area and negligible weight and it has been pulled by a weight wx so by conventional relationship deformation is given by load into length divided by area of cross section times e so the same i'm going to use here so therefore elongation in element of length dx is nothing but elongation i'm going to use symbol delta and the length is dx so it is going to be called as it is elongation in dx and that value is load load is nothing but wx so this particular small element is getting pulled by the weight of this much portion okay so it is w weight of length x times now length of the member so length of the small element is dx only divided by area of cross section is uh, this is the area of cross section i have already told you a suffix x and then modulus of velocity we can further simplify it so wx which is weight of the length x is weight density pi by 12 dx square times x so weight density times pi by 12 d suffix x square times x this whole portion is we got wx times dx and then divided by area of cross section so area of cross section over here will be pi by 4 d suffix x square times modulus of elasticity if you look at here in the numerator we have got dx square and denominator we got dx square in numerator we got pi we got pi and then here we have 4 here we have 
तो यू विल गेट थ्री हेयर यू विल गेट डब्ल्यू बाई थ्री एक्स डी एक्स बाई ई दिस विल बी सिंप्लीफाइड टू डब्ल्यू बाई थ्री एक्स डी एक्स और इट विल बी डब्ल्यू इन टू एक्स डी एक्स बाई थ्री ई तो दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एलोंगेशन इन द स्मॉल एलिमेंट वी हैव कंसिडर हियर सो इन दिस स्मॉल एलिमेंट ओनली वी हैव गॉट सो मच ऑफ एलोंगेशन राइट इफ आई इंटीग्रेट दिस स्मॉल एलोंगेशन फ्रॉम हियर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट x equals to zero. I will integrate from here to here at this particular uh, that is space where x equal to l. If I integrate from x equal to zero to x equal to l, I will get overall elongation due to self weight. So therefore, total elongation. Let me find out due to self weight. I'm going to call this a delta l. Delta is elongation and the original length is l. So delta l. It is nothing but integration. Here is x equal to zero. x equal to l and then we have inside small elongation in dx and that will be simplified as w x dx by 3e so w by 3e will come outside here weight density is constant 3e is also constant so we can take out from the integration sign and then inside we will have x dx so integration of x dx is nothing but x square by 2 so it is going to be x square By two, limit zero to l. If I further simplify this, I'll get three to the six, and w l will become l square by two. So w l square by six e. So weight density l square by six e. Now we have got the overall elongation in terms of the weight density and original length. So we can use this expression whenever it is required to find out the uh, elongation. in a conical member due to self weight so we have got the deformation in conical bar due to its self weight so here we got it as a delta l there is deformation as w l square divided by 6e so here w is a weight density w is nothing but weight of the conical bar divided by its volume so let's say overall weight is w and divided by volume now what is the volume volume is nothing but pi by 12 pi by 12 di diameter of base square times the height height is l here but this pi by 12 d square can be further simplified in terms of the area of the base which is a area of the base so you'll get the weight density is nothing but the overall weight divided by 1 upon 3 times the area of base which is here area of base at this particular area of base let me call it area of base ab area of base of the cone times the height of the cone therefore overall elongation can be written as it is w w is nothing but so 3 will go out up, upside so we'll get 3 overall weight divided by area of base times l so it is the weight density we got times l square by 6 modulus of elasticity we can cancel some terms from here that is one length one length get cancel out you can also cancel this 3 and then this is 6 so it becomes 2 so you shall be getting final expression as elongation in conical bar due to self weight as delta l which is nothing but the weight of the bar times length of the bar divided by 2 times area of base times young's modulus so this is also an important expression this as well as this both are important so the the first one this one is in terms of weight density while this one is in terms of the weight of the bar and the area of the base so both expression we should remember okay so now we shall take up some a simple example based on this concept so we have got a steel cone having diameter of base 15 cm and length 8 m is connected vertically at one of its ends with fixed support so there is a cone made up of steel and it is connected vertically at one of its fixed end if the density of steel is 8000 kg per meter cube and the modulus of elasticity is 205 gigapascal determine the elongation of the cone so this is a very simple question straight forward so let's see how we can approach this problem so let me first draw the cone so we have got a cone here and this base of the cone has diameter 15 cm so this diameter which is at the base is 15 cm and length of the cone is 8 meters so we have got the length of the cone as well as the diameter of the base okay and it is connected at one of its end 
with fixed support so upper end is connected with the fixed support and the density of steel is 8000 kg per meter cube and modulus of velocity is 205 gigapascal we have to find elongation of the cone so let me first write down data they have given diameter of the base as 15 centimeter that is 0 0.15 meters and the length that is the length of the cone l it is 8 meters next they have given the mass density rho which is 8000 kg per meter cube you can find out from here the weight density and that is going to be the mass density times gravitational acceleration it is 8000 multiplied by 9.81 newtons per meter cube next we have got the young's modulus of the material that is 205 gigapascal and that is nothing but 205 10 raised to giga means 10 raised to 9 newtons per meter square so so what is the expression for elongation elongation that is delta l in the conical bar is straight forward that is weight density length square by 6e so if you look at the example here we have got the value of weight density and that value is 8000 into 9.81 length also we have got so length is 8 meters so 8 square it is divided by 6 and then modulus of velocity that is Young's modulus 205 10 to 9 so this if you simplify this value is going to be 4.079 into 10 raised to minus 6 meters so therefore elongation is nothing but you can get from here elongation as 4.079 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm this way you can find out the elongation in the conical bar due to its self weight 